Hey, what you want for these, bud? Let me look at the camera. We just got signed up. Uh, about thirty-five dollars. Mm. That'd be like five dollars and something a piece. Five and a quarter. One, two, three, How about four, twenty-five. Five. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. yeah. The bottom of broken tips. Yes. Yeah, See. Yeah, but they're kind of unique. And there. I'll do thirty with you. How about that? All right, we'll do thirty. Thank you, Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, guys. Whatever time y'all are tuning in, I certainly appreciate y'all are here. Uh, today, guys, I'm going to be cleaning up that case-tested double X uh, Barlow knife and the Camillus fish knife with a lock blade. But, guys, uh, I knew I found a special knife when I found this, but I didn't know how special this knife was. Uh, I was going to look this up when I cleaned it up, but Mr. Jerry Phillips, he sent me an email and told me I need to look this knife up. And uh, again, guys, it's got a sheep foot blade. See that sheep foot? Uh, but according to my book, I'm going to show you something real quick. Okay, according to my book, guys, this is it's the first one. I got to find that number on the back, which there sometimes they rub off fast, so... It's no big deal there, but I know it's tested. It's 1920 to 1940. It does have the sewn bone. It's got them uh, saw cuts in, in it. It's got a sheet foot blade, but look at how much this thing was, if it'd be worth back in 2008, 475 bucks. And guys, this knife ain't really hurt that bad. I'm gonna give it a new edge just to get them chips out and stuff and Round it up, but guys, I'm gonna tell you something. I'm gonna clean this thing up, and I wouldn't take 400 bucks for it. I sure wouldn't, because you know how rare these things are? And this good a shape? I mean, it's gonna clean up very good. It don't have any brass in it whatsoever. That might be brass. Let me see. Well, I gotta clean it up before I say it ain't brass. It's gonna clean up good. It really is. But look at that bone, y'all. See, it's saw cut bone. But it's beautiful. It really is. Beautiful bone. But that's it right there, guys. That's the top Barlow knife that you can find of case. And I found it right there for $5. Now I'm thinking to take it over there and give it the initial cleaning on the three inch bench grinder with the fiber wheel. That bone, I love it. But I clean up them bolsters. It's gonna clean up good, guys. It really is. And this one here, we're gonna clean up too. This one ain't gonna take that much work. It's it's pretty clean now. Uh, just a little buffing over there and some uh, oil. This one be good to go. But this one here, it ain't gonna take much. But it's gonna clean up real nice.
Okay, guys, I just noticed something. These two pins on both sides are steel, while these two pins are brass. That's why they're rusted a little bit. I had to scrape it off with my screwdriver to get to it. But yeah, never seen that before. Pretty cool, isn't it? See that rust right there? I think the liners are steel. They're not brass. Go in there and give it a new edge very carefully. I gotta get them chips out of that edge. See that right there? Mm, this is. I'm gonna put some mineral oil on this one. Ooh, that's a little bit too much, but I'm glad I run that hole, it poured out fast. Kind of oil just brings that bone out, y'all. Yeah. <laughs> snap. Guys, was this a find or what? I probably, out of all the finds, I think this is probably the best knife I've ever found for the price. It is. It's awesome. That bone beautiful. Mm -mm -mm. Now listen. <laughs> it still retain that sheep foot blade. I'm glad. You know how satisfying this is going to be when I reach in my pocket and pull this thing out and look at it from time to time. Five dollars, guys. Five dollar knife. Mm. 
Mm, mm, mm. Beautiful. Now we're going to give it some Nevador. Let's clean it up a little bit. Let me get that grime out of around him. Um, pins right there. Okay, now guys, I'm going to take this one over there on my little three inch grinder and just give it its initial cleaning real quick. No biggie, it ain't that bad at all, really. This one ain't going to take long at all to clean up. I just love that lock blade. But again, guys, this uh, stamp right there that Camillus used on that tank was used from mid, uh, it says from the early 30s all the way through the mid 1940s. So. Pretty cool, ain't it? Love this knife here. Okay, guys, here they are. Check out this beauty right here now. It looks brand spanking new, don't it? That handle shined up really good. I mean, it is a beautiful, beautiful knife, guys. Check that out. Ain't it beautiful? Don't look new. I mean to tell you, and it's sharp too now. See, it's got that press. Liner lock right there. Look how clean it is on the inside. Ain't it beautiful? I absolutely love this knife, guys. Wow. Beautiful knife. And 
Yeah, well, we're just not. Look at that. I swear it looks new, y'all. Look at the plastic. This is a solid fish knife, guys. It really is. And it was made according to the stamp right there on that tang. It was made uh, early 30s all the way through the mid 1940s. It's an old knife. About 90 years old. It's cool, ain't it? Love it. And here, guys, look at that. Look at that bone. Ain't that a beautiful bone, y'all? It is awesome. Beautiful, beautiful bone. And I'm going to leave these bolsters alone. I could sand them smooth. They're pitted just a little bit like that one is, but it gives it character. And again, guys, I've heard me say it. But sometimes you just have to let an old knife be an old knife, and this is one of them. It has earned its age, I'm going to tell you. Case tested, double X. Sheep foot blade, brown bone handles. It's a beautiful, beautiful knife. Got brass pins right here and two steel pins. Same thing on the other side. Two brass pins, two steel pins. But this is, uh, they, Case didn't start putting the uh, knife pattern uh, numbers on the knives on every knife until 1949 according to my book so i've looked this thing over and i cannot find a pattern number on it at all but uh then i read in the book they didn't start putting the pattern numbers on the knives till 1949 so and this one was made between 1920 and 1940 but guys i can't get over this fine here guys I mean, this thing is worth. I wouldn't take 400 bucks for it right now. Mainly because you just ain't going to find these no more like this in this good shape. Hear that snap? Beautiful. Beautiful knife. I paid $5 for it, y'all. $5 for it. Ain't it awesome? And it's got the sheep foot blade on it too very cool nice knife nice find this is why i love to hunt guys right here this is the main reason you just don't know what you're gonna find you don't even know what you're looking for it until you find it you know i love it love it love it love it but here it is right here guys that's the pattern number if it was on there tested it is tested 1920 1940 sewn it's either barn bone or brown bone i'm thinking it's brown bone because it says green it shows a, a different color so i'm saying brown bone sheet foot blade which that is sheet foot blade right here and it's worth mint condition back in 2008 475 dollars so they're more rare today than they were back in 2008 that's almost, uh, that's what, 16 years ago? So, I wouldn't take 400 for it right now. I really wouldn't. Is that rare of a knife and it's in great shape? It really is, for its age. And that stamp right there tells it all. Very cool. Okay, guys, I hope y'all enjoyed the video today. And I just cannot express enough, guys, how much this knife means to me now and this one too i absolutely love this knife i'll probably be carrying these both for a little while uh i absolutely love that knife but i really love this knife just the story behind it me finding it for five dollars and how much it's worth um this is why i do it guys it's just an amazing amazing find it really is but anyway, guys, I just want to thank y'all for tuning in today. I just want to say uh, I really appreciate all the support, guys. I want to say God bless y'all. And until we meet again, guys, I'll be like a good night. Stay sharp.